Hey everyone, welcome back. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're going to be working with how I do a refill. These are my sister's hands, you guys. And I start off by sanitizing her, my, my hands and her hands. This was her previous design. I didn't film it because it was just so simple, you guys. She wanted a super simple baby boomer nail design so then i was like no there's no need to record i have enough baby boomer uh nails up on my channel so what i'm gonna be doing first you guys like i said i went on and sanitized her hands with my hands as well also all of my like cuticle pusher all of my drill bits and everything i are already sanitized as well i usually put them under barbicide and then i go ahead and um take them out of the out of the little container with the barbicide <clears throat> and when i'm ready to use them i go ahead and spray them uh one more time with the with the sanitizer from me a secret so i'm just gonna be just literally file filing down all of this acrylic you guys it was super simple to do so then this drill bit helps me out a lot you guys it helps me out so much it's from panna if I find the link, I will have it in the description box because it makes my e my work so much easier and faster when I'm doing a refill. Like, it helps me out like no other, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. So, literally, I'm just removing, <clears throat> you know, that as much of the acrylic that I can. So, um, the part of the cuticle area, you guys, where the growth begins, I'm not going to touch that yet. Um, you're gonna see me do that in a in a little bit right now so yeah I don't normally like to do refills you guys because uh, let's say they have a pink uh, design on and then they come in for a refill and they want something I guess white sometimes you guys it is so hard to cover that pink if you don't remove all the acrylic you know that was before that it, it is super hard so you know you gotta try your hardest you guys and um if you don't want to do that just soak them off you know what i mean just go ahead and soak them off and start brand new so she didn't really want to do that she just wanted a fill um like i said i don't really do that i regularly tell my clients you know i don't really work with refills but if you want me to i can and i explain to them everything you know that needs to be known you know you're gonna get a new set and if you turn your hand you're gonna see the other color below you know under your nails and stuff and sometimes the color might we're not even gonna be able to cover it you know i, I tell them everything and they're like oh no you know what never mind i'll just wait for them to actually like fall off or I'll come by and you soak them off and then we start brand, brand new so yeah like but I guess it's just personal preference you guys mm, but then again sometimes it's better to just do a fill because you're not removing nails and nails and nails you know every single set um, but I don't know you guys you guys tell me how you guys work I mean that's just me that's how I work okay you guys so now anyway <laughs> moving on i'm just gonna start pushing back her cuticles the reason why i push back the cuticles you guys it's because it exposes the new growth of the nail and also it prevents lifting if you leave the cuticle it is you're gonna get a whole bunch of lifting you guys they're gonna lift your nails are gonna lift and as you can see here she had zero lifting you guys i was so proud of myself when she came in and i told her do you have lifting she's like no i don't i'm like yeah right we're gonna see right now so i started removing off everything and literally you guys she had no lifting so i was like oh my god yes so right here all i'm gonna be doing i get this little ball thing that you put in the drill i don't know it's a drill bit you guys i guess it's for like the russian manicure it, it's called it's something like that you guys in spanish but I just go ahead and remove like any excess skin you know hanging from the cuticles and it helps me remove it really really good so now I'm gonna take this cuticle bit that I am gonna be using you know in the nail area and this is gonna help me you know remove any excess cuticle as well you know stuck to the nail plate 
and um, this one was from Toe Deck USA. I have not been able to find it anywhere, you guys. I am so sorry, but there's a lot out out there in the market, you guys, that are really, really similar. And um, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and remove a little bit of this, uh, you know, cuticle that's hanging still from the nail. And then I don't really usually do this, but since her her cuticles were pretty long this time um I, I went ahead and did it plus she's my sister if i cut her a little bit she'll be like girl you're cool with it don't worry just go and um i don't gotta worry that much <laughs> i'm kidding i love her but you know what i mean uh now i'm gonna take this sanding band uh this is just a fine sanding band i get these from nail supply glamour or nails blinged they both stores have them and they're about five bucks and it comes with a whole bunch of little um filing sanding bands and like i said it has to be a a really really fine sanding band so i gotta go ahead and remove all of the all of the shine from the natural nail you know from the cuticle area that's growing out from the nail and um now i'm gonna take this file you guys i think i believe it's a hundred and a hundred and hundred and eighty file and i'm just gonna shape back the nails after so long you guys the nails lose their shape whether it's you know coffin especially coffin but they lose their shape so you want to shape them back to their whatever shape they had them and um i'm just you know going to shape the the sides of it and then i go ahead and shape the tip as well so now you guys um <clears throat> i believe i went in with my nippers again to cut more of the cuticle because after i cleaned everything i did see a little bit of more cuticle there but i don't think i showed this part you guys but i just go ahead and go in with a you know little dusting brush and i dust off all of that um powder all of that dust all of that powder dust nail powder dust <laughs> however you want to call it you guys but you guys you guys know what i mean and this is how they're looking right now you guys i was really really impressed like i said because she had zero lifting so i was like oh my god i was so proud of myself you guys you have no idea oh yeah i did show the part here i'm just removing all of that cuticle left over and um it was really easy to do because i guess i had already lifted really lifted everything that was left behind so you know it's just really easy just be very very careful you guys you do want to be very careful while doing this i don't usually do these this step to my clients to like my clients clients um but like i said this was my sister so i guess we're cool with each other <laughs> and i have cut her before so oh well and then um i just went ahead and cleaned the surface you guys and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply my this is my dehydrator by opi i go ahead and do one coat on all of the nails and then i go ahead and go in with my primer the primer i use is the one by queen nails you guys this thing is freaking strong and when i mean it's strong it's strong like your nails won't come falling off like literally this thing is strong so i do about two coats of that and then after this i go ahead and do my um my thin coat of crystal clear acrylic i do this because she was gonna wear red so i don't want to go ahead and you know get all her her cuticle area pigmented and you know it's gonna be a whole mess so i didn't want to do that so you know if you don't want to get your natural nails pigmented because there are several and i mean several acrylics out there that are, that are super pigmented especially glam and glitz is one of them uh you want to do this step you really want to go ahead and take time in applying a super thin layer of crystal clear acrylic now in her ring finger i'm just gonna go ahead and do you know a simple glittery um nail this one i found it on ebay you guys and i think i do have them in my cart right now because i wanted another pack so it comes in four i think you guys i need to check uh but if i do find it again i will have it in the in the description box so um she just wanted this glittery simple silvery 
acrylic and then I went ahead and capped it before my monomer gets really pigmented with that other red we're gonna be using okay the red that we're gonna be using is the apple from the Mia secret fruity collection <clears throat> excuse me and it is a super super beautiful red you guys this is the red that I'm talking about so this color is gonna go all over the rest of the nails now I I, I really 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 like this set you guys like when we were done with it I'm like wow it looks really pretty it's just the typical red classy nails you guys with a pop of glitter um, you know you can add another glitter you can add something else but you know I know it's just simple red and you know silver glitter but I really wanted to bring you guys with me to the process to where I do a refill uh, I don't think I had done a refill on my channel. I think I did, you guys, but that was a long time ago. That was when I first began my channel. And I guess if you go, like, really, really to the beginning of my channel, you're going to find a fill there. But um, I believe it, it's, it's my sister. And um, I believe we did a pastel... Um, a pastel um, design. I think it was with a little bit of rose gold as well so yeah you guys um i'm just gonna keep on doing this process i'm gonna go ahead and cap the nails um my monomer and crystal clear that i'm using here is the nsi one that's the usual you guys you guys know that that's the one that i always use so i'm gonna let you guys watch this part because i really don't have anything to to tell you guys so i'm just gonna let you watch this part and i'll be right back Okay, Chula, so now I'm going to go ahead and shape my nails. I begin usually not really by shaping them, but just kind of removing the excess acrylic that was left on the sidewalls of the nails. So I just go ahead and do that with my file. This one is very, very... It's, it's not fine, you guys. It's really aggressive. So you really have to be careful not to cut your clients. And um, like I said, I'm just removing all, the, all that excess acrylic left on the sidewalls and then i go ahead and you know remove the surface acrylic on the surface any lumps and bumps left behind as well i'm just gonna go ahead and do it with my drill and again i'm just using my panna drill bit this one is i think it's five in one and it does not cut your clients um 
I love it. I'm in love with this drill bit, you guys. If you don't have it, you need to have it because it works so much for, you know, like I said, for refills. It helps you remove all that, all that acrylic. It lets you file down all that acrylic and um, it just helps as well to smooth down the surface of the nails. I just really, really like it. I, I think I've, I fell in love with this drill bit. <laughs> so... Again, I'm just going to be filing down any lumps and bumps left behind. Try to, to be clean with your work at the beginning, you guys. That's going to cut your time in half when it comes to filing. Some people have that mentality where, oh, well, I'll just, whatever. I'll just do it how it is, whatever. And once it, I, I'm still going to come and file, so that's going to help me. And, you know, that's just going to take longer. So I, I, I like... I would what I would do or what I do it's I just try and be clean with my work and you know just do my best with my acrylic and try and lay it down as neat as possible so that when I come and file I just literally just file really quick and just shape the nails and buff them and you're good to go there's no need to be there for hours filing down all those bumps that you left there's no need you guys so try to be neat with your work with your acrylic lay down and place down your acrylic nicely you know trust me it's gonna pay off so now to finish you guys i'm just gonna go ahead and you know give it a last touch with this 150 150 file from nail supply glamour and this is more it just helps me out more to kind of buff the nail surface you know the the surface of the nail and then um, I go ahead and shape it a little more and I really you don't have to do this you guys but I always always do this step like I never forget it uh, I don't know why it's just it's just me you don't have to do this like I said it's just how I work and I'm just showing you here how I work how I do things so after I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a buffer um, the buffers, I don't know where I got them from. It's been a while and I have a whole bunch of them. I don't remember you guys, but buffers, you can find them anywhere. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and buff all of that surface and leave it as neat as possible. So after dusting all of this dust, I'm going to go ahead and clean again with my sanitizer. If you don't have a, san a sanitizer, you can totally use alcohol alcohol will be your best friend as well i used to use alcohol before this and if this finishes you guys i'm gonna go in with alcohol i promise you and then after all this surface is clean i go ahead and top coat all of the nails i really do like and enjoy this new top coat from nsi i used to use the oldie one the oldie but goodie because it's still really good um the glaze and go but when I saw this, I was like, oh, wow, I got to try it. And to be honest, I do like it. Like, I do, do like it, you guys. So, again, just giving it a light coat. It doesn't have to be any thick or anything. And then I cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And please, you guys, don't forget your cuticle oil. This is going to rehydrate all of those cuticles. Cuticles need love and to you guys um, My sister works at a shoe department store. So her cuticles are always super dry. I guess because of the cardboard the cardboard boxes. So yeah And this is the final result you guys. I really 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 do love them They're so classy so perfect so red so nice so beautiful So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and please take care stay safe. God bless See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye